hello everyone welcome back to my channel um i've just been having a little play um i'll show you what i've made uh linda and i can't remember somebody else asked me as well and i'm sorry I've, I've, it slipped my mind um asked me about some of the backgrounds that i'd use on a card for them or um I do use them in collage and bits and pieces like that, but mainly pieces of paper that look a bit like this. Maybe book paper with some splodges on, or watercolour style paper, that kind of thing. I think it's something like this that I've used before. This one I've just made, I love this one absolutely, absolutely love this. Let me see if we can zone in a bit so you can see how gorgeous that looks. All the all the colours and what have you. Anyway, I thought I'd share with you what I do. Um, and it is really very simple. We'll use another piece of book paper, I think. The secret is, um, I think, layers and let it dry is what I would say. So let us see what we can do. Now I've used, <coughs> excuse me, you have to put up with the odd cough. I've got um, the tail end of that, <coughs> excuse me, that um, cold that I had last week. It's hanging around a bit. It's not COVID. I've done three tests. I don't have COVID. My mum and dad have COVID. My dad's been very poorly, but he's, he's rallying around now, I think. Um, yeah, I've had a rubbish week as things go. Yesterday I broke my toe, so uh, yeah, not, not the best of weeks. But let's make something that's quite fun. So I've got Distress Inks out. I mean, you can use anything for this. I've got Distress Inks in the pad form. I've got them in the, a few, I don't have many of these. I've only got about four or five of these in the liquid refill film form even I've got my brush shows and I think the brush shows give the most vibrant results so if, it, if it's a vibrant thing you want brush shows are good and I've got a couple of other things these are Lindy's magical shake shakers they've got lots of different colors in them I'll, I'll perhaps start with something like that and I've also got these magicals which are ancient but they are quite bright and uh, give quite interesting results so let's have a go what do I do Mostly, you can use a brush, like a fan brush, and just um, make splats. And if you do, you'll get something that looks a bit like this, which is absolutely fine. It's a perfect little background for things. Um, and I did this one with um, pink, green, yellow, and blue. And the important thing is, if you're doing something like this, probably to dry between each layer, otherwise you'll get the like an, um, a brownie colour. If that's if that's what you want, that's fine. Um, but mainly I use my stamping block. It's an old one, but it doesn't matter if it's old or new because you can um, you can clean it. If you if I forget to mention it at the end, what I do is that I use some candle wax. So this is just an old candle. And I'm just trying to make a, like a resist surface. It's already a resist surface, the um, acrylic. But I just put some wax on there. At the end, if I forget to mention it, just use your heat tool on there. Heat it up and get a piece of kitchen paper and wipe it off. And it will just um, wipe off. So what am I going to do? I'm going to try... This one's black. Let's have a look at this one. I'm worried that it's quite dark, that's all, but it's got some interesting colours in it. So I'm just going to put some on my stamping block. I'm going to spray some water. Let me cover that because I don't want that to get really wet. If you get some blobs of water that you don't want, like I can see over here, there's some big bits I'm not too keen on. It depends what you want because... This is the other thing. If you see on here, there's lots of little dots of colour. And if you're careful, you can get some of those on your oh, on your page. But if you press it down, you will make like a watercolour effect. So let's put that down there. I'm going to use it what I can from here to begin with. 
but the more you press it down the more you'll get like a watercolor effect i'm going to add some more water to that can you see it's turning more into like a watercolor there and if you've got a large amount that you're not too keen on just dab it off which i'll probably do right so let's put that down anyway to begin with now this one whatever it's called i've forgotten something black forest it is i think you can see that it has got lots of different colors in it there's a yellow and a red and a bluey sort of color which is lovely, I love that. But you can create that with your own by just taking this, making layers. I just wanted to see what that one was like. So I'm gonna clean off my block. And I think what I will do is dry this one before I put any more colors back on it. Just trying to show you all the beautiful colors in there. I don't know if it will show up so well on here. But yeah, beautiful, right. Let's do the same with the brown one, just because I want to see what it's like. This is the Bratwurst something, Bratwurst brown. Let's see what that does. I've got quite a bit of um, large droplets. Shall I leave some? Get some watercolour effects. Let's see. Right, let's go down the bottom here and at the top here give it a press oops and let's try down here perhaps a little splash more water it doesn't look like there's a lot on there actually but that's gone a bit messy there let's and it's a bit damp there. I mean, it's up to you. You can wait for it to dry, you can use a heat tool, but I tend to dab mine away a little bit because it takes a long time to dry and I want to show you what I'm doing. Right, that's quite pretty. I might do a little bit more of that and then we'll go in with some different colours and whatnot. So I'm just going to put it straight on top. And let's move that out of the way while I spray and I think I will just there we go right this is going to be quite wet you can see there's a lot of water on there I might leave it for a more of a um, you know watercolour effect now it's up to you what you do with this because um, I tend to make more of a mess to begin with and then come back in like when I say a mess like this and then I'll come back in and put little dots on the top by having less water on it. This is a good way of covering it. Whoops, did not want to do that. Never mind, we'll just move that around. It depends what you like, really, and the look that you're going for. Sometimes you want to cover something, sometimes you just want to put a few splashes on it. The bits I like the most, I don't know if I'll be able to show you in the camera though, are, where is it, is it there? It's those sort of bits, those little tiny droplet things. Look at that red there. I'm going to add some more red and things to it, but I'm going to dry that off before I do anything else. Right, now. This is kind of dry, it's probably not 100% dry, but it will, it will suffice. Let's try it with some different things. So, um, I'm going to use some of this Distress Ink here. And how I'd probably use this, I could drip it straight on here. I'm going to drop a tiny amount on my surface. I'm going to use a little bit of water, and then I'm going to get my block and put it like that. Now you can already see that those blobs are bigger than when you put the brush hoe or something like that and spray on. That's going to give you more um, 
more of a watercolory sort of look bigger droplets you're not going to get those fine ones at the moment that's fine because i want a bit of color in the areas there we go i might do some more try not to overdo it if you don't feel it's got enough um spread you want more spread put some more water with it i don't think i want too much i'm just going to show you how I go about doing it which is literally pushing in there there we go do I want to use any more of that let's try in there pick some up off of there right that will do us I think for that so that was like a uh, liquid ink you could do exactly the same using um, like distressing. Let me dry this and then we'll add something else. Okay, so there's some distress ink in a pad. Stick that on there. I might just add a bit more of my wax. Oops, that I did not want to do. Oh my goodness, <laughs> don't do what I do. Was that wet down here or something? Or do I just have no control? <laughs> Probably that one. Oh my goodness me. Right, so, here we go. Same again. I'm just going to make this into a nice rich liquid. Pop it on my... Stamping block, find an area that I want to put some green on and push it down. I just love doing these, this makes me feel happy. These and jelly printing, which might be something else I'll do this afternoon, who knows. There's only so much sitting around doing nothing you can do. I'm annoyed because I'd left some because I didn't feel well last week with my cold. I left a lot of jobs to do to this week because um, I'm seeing my sister a lot next week. She's got a week off and we're doing some things together. And um, I'd left loads of things to do like the wash. Well, I've done the washing, but that's um, oh, you know, things like. There's a lot of cleaning up that needs to be done. I did the kitchen, but, we, you know, and I did the bathrooms, actually. That was how I uh, managed to break my toe, cleaning the spare bedroom uh, bathroom. But never mind. Just frustration. Right, I'm going to dry that, and then I'm going to pop, come in and with a pop of bright red or something like that, just or orange, something pink maybe, just to lift it. Right. Hopefully all is dry enough. Clean that off. Now this is where I would normally come in with um, brush O. And the reason is when I put them, sprinkle it on here and then spray, I'm going to get those tiny drops, apart from those giant ones I've just created, which I will get rid of. So I don't want, I don't really want lots of pink or red. This is a, um, like a pinky colour, but I don't want loads of it. And I don't really want the water to interact with everything else on the page either. I just want some pop of colour. Actually, I would say I've done too much. I should have done it on a, either a smaller block or just use a smaller amount. So I don't want lots of this. It's just a tiny pop. And in fact, I'd say that has spread out a bit more than I want it to. So I'm going to have one more go. Um, not with that colour though. What did I use? This one. And I've literally just done a very, very tiny amount. I 
don't know if you can see that, in a very small amount of water. Let's go back to there. Let's see if we can get some just pink dots in there. Like that. I think that will do us. Just that tiny pop of colour. I feel like I need some more down this end now. Tell you what we'll do. So I don't want to make a big mess. We'll do a little bit more, just a tiny amount of the pink. And I'm doing the water at um, vertically. And I'm just going to dry around the area that I want to use. That's the area I want to use there. Um, I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just touching it very gently. So we get those dots, that will do us, I think. I feel like there's a bit more colour on there, but I don't really want it to be too watery. There we go, I think we'll just stop there. She says going, and we're going to go one plate, no. Yeah, that's it. But you get the idea, and you can also add, I'll show you what else I can add as well. Let me dry it, and then we'll add something. All right, I've got some Cosmic Shimmer Mist. Now, um, I'm sure people have them in lots of different colours. I've only got Antique Bronze and Antique Copper, because I used to use them for um, more vintage products, projects, which I haven't done much of recently for some reason. I think what I'm going to try and do is just get some out, if it'll come out. Oh, maybe it'll spray, I don't know. Beware. I'll move that out of the way. My sprays are not great. Oh, it is coming out. That would do. You could just spray it as well. That's obviously something you could do. You could use a fan brush. Let's see what we can do with this. I don't want too much of this, so you could just put some drops in, in places. Little metallic touch there. Obviously you could use other things like frontage or something like that. I might do that as well. But I'm just trying to show you, just to add a little bit of a metally, coppery finish. I mean, you can... I don't want to do too much. But you could paint it on as well if you wanted. But I think that will do me. And I think what I'll do is, because it's really hard to see it on here, I'll just take some pictures and slap those on at the end. Anyway, thank you for keeping me company. Um, I really need to do something. And uh, I definitely feel like my mood has lifted. I feel quite, quite chill now. So I will take, put a few pictures of this at the end. Um, but yeah, I, I love these. I particularly like the music paper ones. I think, I just love the colours, I think. But they're great for collage or for a bit of a, um, you know, something you want extra on your card or something. I really like this one. This has come out with really nice colours. Anyway, thank you for watching and um, take care. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.